little bit about a late start, but just checked out today. Probably still at the Oh, sorry. Madam, what's so funny? What's so funny? What, what, what? I don't, I don't get it. What's so funny? A lot of bikes in here. Sir? Sir? I think he's dead. Yeah. You are? Yeah. Nice. Elvis and Marilyn Mo. Wow. wow, I've never seen them on the route before. That's crazy. Madam, looks like she has a bad case of the Mondays. Picture with him. Yeah, he was really nice, huh? Super nice, and his music was good. I'll insert that picture now. That's what we just got. Put him on. Oh, it gave you the wrong one. That's bizarre. That's okay. That's what it that, one, that one's not gonna lie, that one's kinda lame. Is that the cactus one? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Boo! Maybe because uh. you went right on it? No, I was. Okay, well, that's sad. John Lasseter. Here lies a Billy Pretzel, last guy who touched my Etzel. Not gonna lie, this is epic. <laughs> no one can steal my identity now.
No, I got it. The original. Oh, holy crap. Don't go in That, but it's been 10 minutes. <laughs> There's Elvis up there on the roof. My phone's also super greasy okay, so. and I should wash it. <laughs> okay, so what, what's our plan now? We're gonna go start a big forest from desert so fast. I think. Happy part two. Yes. This store with the cutout comics invokes feelings in me. I can't tell if they're good or bad. Just memories. I don't know what's wrong either. Just weird. We're in Williams. Yes. And it's like the the city closest Ooh. to you take off from here to go to Grand Canyon. And so we just walked up. It's kind of a little frou frou sound. It's a little expensive, you know. Yes. But I always wanted to come here. I mean, I've been here group here, but not really gotten to walk out like we did. Anyway, so we went to this really cool store that I had seen before because I had really cool old signage and stuff so it probably lights up at night in the end. and now i just went blank it was called the turquoise teepee I'm yeah sure it's called, called the turquoise, turquoise teepee. teepee and we talked to the lady behind the counter because i was buying a ring show your ring let me show your ring so we got twin rings sun Sons. sun rings yes Sunfaces. and she said she started talking she's and she was telling the story about how she remembers when the along this this was the the mother road this is yeah. Route 66 yeah. street and um, she said trucks would come barreling down there and blah 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 all stuff like that. It's the semi trucks, yeah. The semi trucks, yeah. Anyway, and then when you know they met, made the I forty when you know like everybody's story, the town kind of like, and the people, the business people, owners were like up in arms about it, and they went to the city council or the they state went, council. I'm yeah, sure yeah. I think she went to the city council, just yeah. like the the, yeah, the state. Started yeah, started somewhere. Yeah. And um, and everybody was like all oh, upset about it, blah blah. And then her dad, who was a preacher, used to be a preacher just raised his hand and said, hey, let's just have, have some peace here. Let's think about this. Grand Canyon, we're the closest city to Grand Canyon. People go to the Grand Canyon. They yeah. didn't move the Grand Canyon. So let's advertise Williams, you know, the town that brings you to the Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. And everyone was like, kind of like, oh, so I guess Williams hmm. never really did too badly in the um, tourist business. Hmm. Anyway, and but when she was telling the story, she said, my dad talked to blah, blah, and I'm like, so are you, um, uh, Wheeler. Wheeler? Yeah. And she said, yes. I'm like, oh my gosh. So they've had that family business for over 50 years. And, well, actually, way over that because they said five generations. So that's more Six than generations, that. yeah. Yeah, so that's more than that. So hmm. that was a cool story. I got to talk to uh, original, authentic proprietor. Yeah. And it was a very cool story. And I also and I wish I had about $8,000 more dollars that I could mm -hmm. spend in there because everything was happening. I also think that Williams didn't like die out as much because you can turn and you're oh I also think Williams didn't die out as much because of the Grand Canyon and because it, it was bypassed it was the last town to be bypassed by I-40 and so it was it was ni 1987 or something like or 1985 so only a couple years before Delgadillo Angel Delgadillo created the um, historic society so they only had a couple years of uh, like a drought right. and but they still have the Grand Canyon so because it wasn't like they, it they never, marketed it to that they advertised yeah so that's why I think that it, it might be like a little more frou-frou town because it never went out mm -hmm. completely I think that that probably was a redesign to like really yeah. upscale it and make it like very cool yeah 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 
It's really nice. Everything's nice. There's not any kind of mm -hmm. stores that aren't really nice. Yeah. <laughs> but look at, you can see, if you look out that window, there's a lot of old historic buildings along here. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. All right, Jake, show me what you got. Hold on, I'll pause it so you can get it. You know what I mean? The first thing I got Which was this mean? Mother Road Route 66 hat. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And the second thing I got is this black t-shirt. Cool. The, the shield in the middle and all of the states that it goes through. But nice. That the heck was of a, a deal. heck of a deal. Uh, and what did you get in Sligman? I got a patch. A uh, Sligman patch? Cool. Yep. And I got this Route 66 tin sign from the place with the world's the biggest Route 66 tin sign. It's called, what's it called, Mom? Um, Addicted, Addicted to, 66. to 66. And then, uh, because I spent over $10, I got to spin the wheel and got this U.S. Route 66 sticker. So, that's pretty cool. And then, for me, also, at Sligman, I got this Angel's Barbershop um, t-shirt right after we met him. It was pretty cool. Hold up this bean board. Hey, get that already! <laughs> well, at least you got a ten-gallon hat on. <laughs> I got nothing on mine. <laughs> I can't complain about we're animals. We have no. We have small head. We have small head. No sir. Hmm? Favorite movie. American Graffiti. Another way to get in. Yeah, but I do. Fred, are you on something, Fred? <laughs> I got a shirt, and Libby got a shirt. That Jake bought. Thanks, Fred. Flagstaff, we decided just to go through it and just find the original muffler matter, or at least they claim. And Google brought us to this guy. And made me. I am God's mistake. And it's across from Granny's restaurant. Let's eat. Bum, 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 bum. Made it, boys. Look at the size of that. I was I used to send these and a bra. I wish I was a girly, just like my dear papa. And that's the tribute to the lumberjack. Lads and lasses, this is supposedly the first muffler man. He was at a lumberjack restaurant where that old uh, off-brand one was, but when that closed down, they donated him to the Arizona University. Thank you, Mr. Lumberjack. Yeah, I was. So this is Route 66. Yes. Okay. Um, Winona, don't forget it. Don't forget Winona. So even the song, they bypass Winona and they go to Flagstaff and they go, oh wait, don't forget Winona. Backtrack, yeah. okay. So this is the bridge. They used to come down this exact route right here. Look at the road. Yes. Okay, obviously it's dark, so I can't really see the road, but really, road. there's not a lot in Winona. Anyway, it's the bridge. Yes, yeah, so we decided to get a quick stop so we didn't have to come back. So we'll just take a picture next to okay. the bridge. Walking down. Only thing in Winona that's really besides like a gas station. We're not forgetting it. Look over the side. What's over the side? Nothing. Nothing. Just more bridge. Do up to the rafters so we can see the rafters. Hard to kind of see them, but they're there. I assure you. Maybe you can just get a quick glimpse of them right there. That is me officially crossing 
real close. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. Show your sign your flashlight on this to show that we're on the other side. See? No, it just says what real close. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Walk back across it. Look at those glowing eyes. We didn't forget Winona. We are here. Ooh. The moon is out tonight. You can't see anything. <laughs> Blackstaff, Arizona. We didn't forget Winona. Yep, that was the entire thing. Okay. Yep. Shut her down. down. Blackstaff, Arizona. You don't forget Winona. Twin Arrows, Navajo Casino Resort. The Walmart in, in Blackstaff doesn't let you stay overnight there, but this place does. So, turns out we're. Looks like we're staying overnight at an Indian reservation. Never thought I'd be able to say that. The eye is over them so that there's certain things. Yes. Drop it to the Pico. Something about banana udana. G sueño. Pretty good band so far. It's dessert time, boyos. Yes, the salsa. Continuera by la siete vita sombra sombra y. Hey, 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 hey. This is what white men look like to natives when they first arrive. Okay, I'm just kidding. But, anyways, yes, this is the end of the fourth day, Mo? Fourth day? Yes, I believe it's been four days. So. <laughs> Oof! Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go to bed now. The f my first time sleeping on a reservation. I'm kind of excited, but also very tired. Yeah, so, yeah, good night. <laughs>